Superheroes very much reflect the times we live in. And when things happen in real life, we sort of see those tensions and those fantasies play out in superheroes. The major problem in the world today is not AIDS, but homosexuals. For the LGBTQ community, the AIDS epidemic of the 1980s is a catastrophe. I'm really scared about the future. The AIDS crisis really started in the 80s and into the early 90s, and it was this horrific, horrific plague that was killing gay men in particular just wholesale. We lost a generation in San Francisco and New York and some of these other big cities. Horror can't really be over-described. It's breathtaking how many people were lost. And it really galvanized a new generation of uh, LGBT activists. People with AIDS, won't be quiet! So you had ACT UP, the AIDS Coalition to Unleash Power. Fight AIDS! ACT UP! Fight that! You had Queer Nation taking to the streets. We're here! We're clear! And so are some of you! And really demanding that people acknowledge the existence of gays in a way that they hadn't before. And I think comics reflected that. The most progressive voices in comics at the time are the X-Men, and they take society's reaction to the AIDS crisis head on. The X-Men introduced the legacy virus, which was a virus that initially only affected mutants. It would unravel their genetic sequence so that it would make their mutant power uncontrollable and it would ultimately kill them. But once the virus spreads to the mutant population and combines with mutant DNA, it theoretically could become incredibly deadly. We'll find who's responsible. But until then, we need to calm the plague hysteria. And it's basically used as a device to incite a war between the species, basically between Homo sapiens and Homo superior. Plague carriers, you won't infect anybody else! Don't try it, fool. They're This was a metaphor for HIV AIDS that was so explicit, it was obvious to readers, that the X-Men was responding to um, the AIDS epidemic. And in fact, the legacy virus becomes a human problem as well. Are you okay? I'm just not feeling very well. <laughs> Similarly, this was part of the narrative of HIV AIDS. Hey, you're one of those plate-carrying mutants! That's the best part of the X-Men, is everyone thinks they're getting a the thing about lasers out of your eyes. I didn't do anything. But what you're really getting is a lesson in tolerance. And that's the best superpower of all. They come from real life, real personal spaces in those lives. It's the core DNA of the American people. Our world is no longer black and white. And our superheroes have come to reflect that.